Hello everybody and welcome back to, well, let's make a tier list in 15 minutes. I enjoyed doing the last one, Fire Emblem 1, let's do Fire Emblem 2. Uh, the whole point of this tier list is to try and get a decently accurate feel for all the strength of the units uh, and their usability off of pretty much, not necessarily first impressions, but off of quick impressions. Uh, let's get to it. So this is Fire Emblem 2, uh, the game, uh, Fire Emblem Gaiden, the game that Chavez of Valencia was based on. It's somewhat similar in some ways and not similar in others, so let's just start down the list. Alm is one of the best units in the game. He starts strong. If you train him, he continues to be strong. If you don't strain him, if you don't train him, his love, his eventual promotion makes him very strong. Um, you can use bows after promotion, which is less helpful than in Shadows of Valencia because there's no combat arts and so you don't have like Hunter's Volley or anything. But he can still use swords, the bolt sword, and then he used bows for range and so he just becomes a very strong solid unit all around. Atlas... Atlas is D tier because he doesn't have any spells to make him useful, he doesn't have any real abilities, he doesn't have any stats outside of attack. Um, and without things like Hunter's Volley, there's nothing to really make him broken in. He just comes out in his level 10 villager near the end of... Uh, around the same time that you're getting Pala and Catria, you're getting Atlas, level 10 villager. And it's pointless to make him Cavalier because you're getting into deserts and swamps and nothing else. Not a great unit. Bowie... You have better options pretty much all around, but magic is never not useful in the game, so... Uh, I'm debating C or B tier. I'll say C, because he's just kind of mediocre. Catria, insanely good. In fact, let's do, put Claire up here too. Um, and Est and Pala. And any flying unit is an amazing. Um, Claire, I'm tempted to bring her down to A tier. But I'm going to leave her at S tier, and here's why. Falconite is just too good. Actually, I'm going to bring that Claire down to A tier. Um, because you don't fight as many monsters in Alms Root. Uh, but Falconites, instead of just getting the plus 10 damage that they do in Shadows of Valencia, they just get hard set to max damage. Hard set to 40 damage. Uh, versus monsters. And it's insane, and it's insanely good. And these three have a triangle attack, which is one of the only reasonable ways to take out uh, Jetta, because instead of every four turns he becomes vulnerable, it's every four attacks he becomes vulnerable, I think. Um, or, or one or the other. It's I either or. It's either every four attacks he becomes vulnerable, or every four turns he becomes vulnerable. I forget which one's Shadows of Valencia and which one's Gaiden. Been a little while since I've played, forgive me. Um, Dute, uh, also eventually known as... Um, I forget what her name is. B tier. Um, that's gonna bother me now. Uh, Delthea. Dute Delthea. As uh, B tier. She comes in so late that it's hard to really train her. Um, but you also get the magic ring, and she has aura, and is just kind of insanely good as a bomb. And the magic ring gives you one, you know, one to five range on all your magic, black magic spells. So, she's B tier, she's really good uh, in terms of just raw damage and raw power. She can melt through knights and uh, paladins. Yeah. Celica... I'll give Celica A tier because eventually she gets enough utility through healing. She can use the sword. Uh, if you give her like the holy sword, she's pretty good with it. Uh, though granted, anyone's pretty good with the holy sword in her route. Um, she has a good spell list. Uh, she doesn't get anything that's broken. Uh, like she gets Angel, which is insanely good against all the Necro Dragons and whatnot. Um, she doesn't get anything super broken, like Excalibur, but she's pretty solid uh, all around. She's more vulnerable than someone like Alm is, uh, but she's more uh, defensive than someone like Bowie or Mei, and so she kind of has that middle ground where she's good, she's an alright unit. You're never upset to have her on a map. Um, it's not like she's horrible like someone like Roy or Shadow Dragon Marth is. Clive, um... 
Uh, he's decent, I guess. Once If you can get him to promotion, he's fine. Uh, but I always just find him kind of underwhelming. Debating C tier for him, really. Clive tier. Um, Dean? Come on. Uh, easy, strong unit. Uh, Sonya, I will say Sonya is the worst unit, although not by much. Sonya is still a perfectly reasonable unit. She gets Excalibur, and that's all you really need to be able to deal high magic damage and crit. Dean is a little better because you don't really have to put any investment into him. He becomes a little boring because you have so many potential dread fighters, but other than that, solid unit. Uh, Silk, easy S tier. Top of top of the S tier, and here's why: Warp. Warp is completely broken. Uh, you just need to feed her some levels because she doesn't get any XP from healing. But Warp is completely broken and allows basically all of Alm's route to be uh, somewhat reasonable. Zeke, he's A tier because he comes in and he's just solid. Um, he's not going to break the game or anything, but by the time you get him, he's definitely going to be one of your best combat units, even if you have a trained Clive or Matilda, or someone else, or one of your villagers. Um, Zeke just comes in and is like, hey, what's up? I'm I'm good. I'm here. I'm strong. I can take on a whole army if you need me to. And you might need him to. Saber, also hmm, debating A or S tier. I'm just going to give him A tier, because He's great, he's solid, he's fast, he's defensive, he's strong. He does what, whatever you need to in a, in a physical unit in a route filled with mages. Jesse, I'll give him C tier, because at least he's not a villager already. Like, a villager still, but he's not great. <laughs> he's pretty mediocre when you get him. Um, he can be trained, and if he's trained, he's just as good as Saber or... Um, wherever anyone else is, because all these portraits look the same. Thanks, NES. Um, Lucas, A tier, really strong defensive unit, defensive wall, get, has strength and defense for days, and if you give him a speed ring, then, you know, that solves that problem. Force, uh, which one's Force? I think Force is purple in this. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I'm gonna give him C tier, because while he's just as good as Lucas, um, he comes in as a pretty low-level soldier, and so you're gonna need to train him up. By that point, Lucas is already pretty close to knight, if he isn't a knight already. Mycin is... Uh, he comes in late, and he's a decent filler if you really need him. Same with uh, Goto? Not Goto. Goto's uh, the one... My sin. Noma. Bishop Noma. Uh, yeah, he's fine as well. Late game filler, but, you know, doesn't really do anything spectacular. Python. If you can get him to Bow Knight, he's a solid unit. But getting him there is a real pain in the butt. It's really hard to get him there because he will never hit a shot. But I guess he's C-tier, because there's always something for him to shoot. Uh, Kamui, or whatever his name is, he's B-tier, because he, he's... He comes in, he's... He's Saber, but worse. He's well, he's Saber, but later, and a little bit less defensive, a little more speed-focused, I think. Heck, I don't remember. Use them both, they're both fine. They both turn out basically the same, because their promotion gains will cover whatever their level ups don't. Uh, May, uh, May's B tier as well. She's good. She's solid. She's a good mage. Um, she doesn't get Excalibur. Um, she gets a lot of high damage spells, but she never has the speed to double anything. Uh, but she will have good utility with Thunder early on. Um, I'm not gonna say you're gonna get her to Priestess because that's way too far out to really expect reasonably. But she's not terrible. Um, give her the Mage Ring and she'll have plenty of range, but I usually give the Mage Ring to Sonya if I get Sonya because, you know, 5 range Excalibur, better than 5 range Fire and Thunder. 
but she's better than Bowie because, at least for the early game, she's pretty much the best damage you got. Um, Jenny is uh, debating A or B tier. I think I'll give her B tier because while she's the only real healer you have until Celica gets healing, um, that's kind of all she is. She can get fog early on, but then you just get fog soldiers, and that can be used for shenanigans, but it slows the game down, and for the most part, you're not going to need it. The game's never really hard enough to justify that, except for one or two instances where it's like, if you're really desperate, they can help out. Um, she gets a spell to wipe out monsters, but it's inconsistent, and it doesn't give you any experience. Um, she's fine. She's a good healer. Um, she gets physic, I think, and that's helpful. Um, she'll be necessary for you keeping up all your mages' health bars uh, before you get enough rings, but other than that, not great. Tail 2, she gets Fortify, but she comes in so late she's only ever going to be like a Physic Fortify spam, which is not bad, but, you know, she's not generally worth the, like, worth heavy investment. She's not going to, you're not going to feel a huge swell in your army when you get, uh, uh, Tita, Titania. Um, Tatiana, whatever her name is, depending on the translation. This is Force. Okay, so that's Force, so then this must be, um, Leon. Uh, I kind of am tempted to just leave Leon in C tier, uh, but I guess I gave Python C B tier, so I have to give Leon B tier. Um, Archers are fine. You know, Leon's a fine enough archer. There's nothing really to say about him. He's just kind of there. Uh, feels a little better than Python, but mostly because Python feels like he just misses everything, but it could also just be due to terrain. Uh, Luthier gets a B tier from me because he gets Excalibur, and Excalibur is solid. Um, but he's in Alms Route, where there's a lot more dangerous enemies, uh, human soldiers, and a lot more things with ranged attacks to snipe him out. Um, he can be pretty easy to pick off. But overall, you know, magic is solid. You're not necessarily upset to have another mage in Gaiden. Um, Valbo I'll give B tier, because he does his job. It's not a glamorous do job, but he does it. Uh, he has high defense, and decent HP, and decent strength. That's all that you need him for. And sometimes that's all you need. You just need a wall to be able to tackle some zombies. And Valbar is more than willing to do that for you. Tackle some zombies, take some archer hits. You know, if you can get him into a position, he'll be fine in it. He's not going to do anything amazing, but he'll be solid. Um, who are you? I'm trying to remember. My brain has gone to bed. I thought this was... But... Matilda, yes, yes, yes. Well, how did I forget Matilda? She's like the best... She's instantly a paladin. Um, she has great speed. She actually has resistance. A little bit of resistance and decent strength. Her only down point is she's a little bit low on HP and defense. Uh, but if you get her that Gold Knight promotion, uh, she becomes fine. I'm not necessarily going to put her in S tier because she doesn't really have the availability for that. And she doesn't break the game, uh, but she's pretty good. Now, for the villagers. I don't remember which one is what. I think the pink hair is Ray, who has more experience but less growths. Um, the green hair is Clive, and the brown hair is... Uh, Tobin, uh, some translations Robin or Bird. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put them all in A tier because it really they are what you make of them. Uh, there are some differences in their spell lists and differences in you know kind of what their stat growths are, but really they're all there to fill a role. And if you level them up and put them in a role that you need, they'll fill it, and they'll be decent enough. And they show why base stats are base stats on promotion are the best. Thing and the most important. So yeah, this is my uh, thrown together tier list. I feel like 
Did I make any changes to this? Not particularly. Yeah, these all these units are definitely cut above everyone else. Um, these units are kind of really the core of your army. These units are helpful. They're good enough to field um, pretty much all the time, but you're never necessarily happy about them. These units you bring along because, you know, because maybe they can be funny, maybe they can be good, or maybe because you don't have anyone better. You bring them along because you can, not because you necessarily want to. And then there's Atlas, who... What are you really going to do with Atlas? I mean, sure, he has variety, but none of his options are good. Uh, but yeah, that, I, that is my 15-minute tier list. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Why did I scroll? That's just going to cause more work on editing for me. Uh, until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day. Have a good one. Bye-bye.